This video shows the user interface changes that are part of the May and June 2021 releases for Leganto. I will walk through all the changes so you can see how they behave, and I'll also include information about when each change is coming. In the May release, we've changed the Add Items screen. The new Add Items screen highlights the many options that are available for adding items to a reading list. This screen will potentially look different depending on your configurations. Library Search is the same library search that has always been available in Leganto. You can click on the Back option or click on the Add Items button again to go back to the options. The blank form will open up a blank form where you can fill in citation details. Note that the label in the May Sandbox release is different from what you see here. While the Sandbox label is manual form, the production release will include the blank form label as you see on the screen. If you need to change this in your Sandbox environment before May 2nd, you can change it in the Leganto Labels table. You can use the blank form to fill in citation details. In the June release, the Add File option will be moved up as we see here. If you've configured Leganto to not allow instructors to upload files, you won't see this option. When you add a citation, you have the option to choose Add and Close, which will add the citation to your list and close the right pane. Or you can click Add, which will add the citation to the list and leave the right pane open so you can add additional resources more efficiently. Going back, you also have the option to add things from your collection, which hasn't changed. You can also upload a file, assuming this is something you allow. If you don't allow instructors to upload files, you won't see this option. In June, the file upload workflow will be adjusted. You will first upload the file, then fill in the metadata. This is important because Leganto can often harvest metadata from the file, so we don't want users to spend a lot of time manually entering this information when it can often be done automatically. Note that if you have configured options in the File Upload Copyright Options table, these options have been moved up on the screen to make them more prominent to users. Again, I can choose Add and Close, or choose Add, which leaves this right pane open to add additional resources. If the library and the user have integrated Leganto with Mendeley, Ruffrux, or Zotero, these options will display here as well. You can click on any of these options to add any relevant resources to the list by either dragging and dropping them or clicking on the resource and choosing Add or Add and Edit. This functionality hasn't changed. The June release also includes a simplified view of the reading list information, as you see here. You can click More Info to see the full details, which is similar to what previously displayed. Click Less Info to collapse this information. In June, we'll also remove the left pane and replace it with the menu icon as you see here. Here you can navigate to your lists, your collection, or the Find List page. There's also a back arrow to navigate back to the lists page. The Reports tab will be removed in the June release while we perform maintenance on the instructor-facing reports. In the meantime, we recommend you use the List Analysis, which shows usage information embedded in the list. If you'd like to remove the Reports tab now, you can do so by adjusting the configuration options. Go to Leganto Configurations, Features, Leganto Features, and set the parameter Display Report tab to False. In the same table, turn the parameter List Analysis to True to turn on the List Analysis as a replacement. We hope you will find that these changes result in a streamlined and more intuitive experience for instructors and librarians using Leganto. Thank you for watching, and please continue to check the upcoming Behavior in Design Changes page, where we will continue to share information about any additional upcoming changes.